So what happens when you start losing your passion? I've seen a couple posts up on uh, Facebook and some different groups and that. A couple established real estate investors who began talking about they're losing their passion, they're losing their drive and their motivation. They're not, not as jazzed about the business anymore than what they're doing. And they're really pleading and you know, looking for help and, and some feedback. And it's, it's really kind of a tough thing to address because it, it goes very deep psychologically as far as losing your passion. You know, for, for say, somebody who's been in the business for a short time, a year or two, you know, the, the excitement begins to wear off of getting into the business and they, you can easily start to lose your passion at that point because you're not, you're not challenged as much, you know, when, when you're starting out and you first get into this business, you know, you're hopeful and you're excited and I'm going to change my life. Things are going to be so different. I'm going to start making some money and it's going to be fantastic and all these things and you're learning and you're, you're having to learn how to do things and what to do and what to do and, you know, how do I find this? How do I do this? And then after you start making some money and closing a lot of deals, it starts to become routine because the challenge just isn't there as much anymore. You know, you, you've overcome the, um, the fear, you've overcome the impossible that you thought you couldn't do it. You started making money, so some financial pressure is off. The whole, I don't know if I can do it, the doubtfulness, the fear has subsided, and you no longer have that anymore. So now it just becomes sort of a job. You're doing your job, finding houses, contacting owners, working a deal, getting a check. It starts to lose some of its passion. And even for somebody who's more established, who's been in the business a while, it becomes routine because it's no longer a challenge. You're, you're in a routine. You're, you're buying houses right and left and you're getting all these deals, you know, dozen deals a week. And it's not a challenge anymore. You just get a deal, turn around, sell it, rent it, do whatever, make money, boom, done. What you need to do is to be able to find your passion again. Those goals that you had that were here are now no longer enough. You need to set higher goals and establish bigger goals that will drive you. Goals that will challenge you in a different way, into a different area of real estate maybe, into doing something totally different. You could pick up your passion also for something outside of real estate. You know, if all you do is real estate and you focus just on real estate, real estate, making money, making money, and you're dealing with attorneys and title company people and distressed sellers, it gets, can get kind of depressing and burn you out because you're dealing mostly with not real happy, not real friendly people a lot. What you're gonna need to do is find a new passion, something that's gonna drive you, whether it's something new in real estate or something outside of real estate that you can connect to what you're doing in the real estate is going to help fund this, a, a charity project or a, a, a development you wanna do or something you wanna buy, a resort or something, anything that is going to drive you and set new goals for you. You need to have new goals. Whenever you have goals and then once you've reached those goals, you don't have more goals set beyond that differently, then it, you're going to get depressed because you've already achieved that. Now what? There's nothing, just routine. Now it's just buying property, making money. So always be setting your goals in a different area. Set up goals in real estate that are bigger, Set go and and I don't mean bigger as in oh I bought you know 20 houses last week I'll buy 25 next week no something that's really going to drive you building a skyscraper building a resort something big of housing development where you're going to build you know 120 houses in a subdivision something bigger that's going to really drive you that you're passionate about doing also something outside of the real estate that's going to equally drive you and you can use the real estate directly as a vehicle to fund that. It could be, you know, taking out some charity, doing something in a different area besides just, just making money. Something that's going to challenge you, you know, spiritually, emotionally, physically. Uh, you know, maybe you're going to train for a marathon. Maybe you're going to run, you know, the Ironman or something like that. Something that's going to drive you. You set some sort of a goal that's going to really put passion back in your life. So for me personally, about 10 years ago, I got kind of burnt out and I had been doing real estate for many, many years, was doing like over a million dollars a year in real estate net. And it was just burning me out. It was just routine. It was just getting monotonous. 
So something that I'd always kind of wanted to do and had an interest in was I started another business. I started doing video production and we I started getting equipment. I was learning how. I was all self-taught. I got books. I learned YouTube videos, everything I get my hands on and really practiced a lot and just started getting paying jobs and working and doing different things. You know, at least if I'm going to shoot, I might as well get paid for it. And it, I've built it up over the years. We've gotten a lot more equipment and we've built it up to where now we're shooting, you know, we've done videos for Google, for Bear Aspirin, for Walmart, uh, PBS, Good Morning America affiliates, uh, Random House Publishers. Um, we've done reality shows, um, music videos, uh, you know, a whole lot of things. Work with some few celebrities here and there. And it was just something I was always passionate about and wanted to do. So I got into it and I still do the real estate. But now I also have this as my a whole different area of mine. That's a, more of a creative outlet. You know, you get a little tired of the real estate. But now, you know, we're using it as the what I'm learning to film on the real estate and do videos like this. So it's been really useful. So it's it's up to you. Nobody can tell you what it can be. Nobody can tell you what it's going to drive it. But you need to understand that you've plateaued. You've hit your goals. It's become routine. Now you need to think of something loftier, something outside of yourself more that's going to really drive you.